In this tutorial, I'd like to highlight some of the keyboard shortcuts that are available to make manipulating data within Delta even easier. It would be impractical to simply go through a list of all the available shortcuts here. So instead, I'm going to show you a few of the locations where you can find keyboard shortcuts. The first is under this K drop-down menu here for key shortcuts. If you left click and hold, the menu will persist. And all of the keyboard shortcuts will show up in brackets. So for example, zooming all the way out or resetting the view can be accomplished by hitting the home key on your keyboard. Or unzooming by hitting the minus key on your keyboard. Or scaling the Y dimension to the tallest peak available on the screen using the end key. And just to show what I mean, this is hitting the end key, this is hitting the minus key, and this is hitting the home key. Note that these keyboard shortcuts will change depending on your cursor mode. For example, if you're in the peak pick cursor mode, there are all, all sorts of new or additional shortcuts there such as the ability to calculate the J value between two selected peaks or doing peak deconvolution or similar types of things. In addition, there are other keyboard shortcuts unrelated to cursor modes. If you right click and hold in the data, a new pop-up menu will show up that has other options. And again, keyboard shortcuts are shown within square brackets here. So, for example, you could do things like turn off the display of the file name or comments or turn them back on by hitting those keyboard those keys. Finally, there are the keyboard modifiers to cursor modes of Alt and Shift. When you hold Alt or Shift or both keys, the cursor mode behavior on left click will change. Let's consider peak picking, for example. As we saw in the peak pick tutorial, there's a threshold for automatic peak picking. I'm going to move it up a little bit so that this, this multiple here has a different threshold than normal. So let's suppose I wanted to go through and pick some peaks here. As long as I'm clicking above the threshold, things will behave normally. But let's say that I wanted to pick this particular peak. If I don't change the threshold, I can't automatically select that. But if I hit the hold the Alt key when I left click, I'll be allowed to move below that, or to peek a pick below that threshold. Let's say instead I wanted to pick some uh, position in the shoulder of a peak. I can do this by holding the shift key and left clicking. And of course, I could do this for or using both keyboard modifiers. Holding Alt and Shift would let me peek a, pick a peak anywhere, whether it's above the threshold or not. Again, these keyboard modifiers and shortcuts may change depending on the cursor mode you're in. And I would encourage you to go through and see what's out there. Thanks for watching this video. As always, if you have comments or questions or requests for more, please feel free to visit our website, nmrsupport.jeol.com, or leave a comment here in the video.